we went to Santa Anita, sent to Santa Anita, we were put in stables and not in apartments like she was saying. And uh, all we had was hay, like she said, we stuffed our own mattress and pillows or whatever we had to make our own. And it smelled like a stable too. <laughs> well, they assigned us certain blocks that we had to move to. I remember being on a truck they were taking us to the block. I saw a lot of snakes being run over, <laughs> water moccasins, you know. And it was real muddy. It wasn't very nice. <clears throat> it was just a social thing. We would elect presidents and secretaries and treasurer, whatever. And we would uh, sponsor dances and things, and also with sports activities too. So it's not like a gang you would say gang out here, you know. It's just just the clubs that were individual people, and one get into trouble, well, we'd have to back him up, you know. <laughs> what sort of trouble would he get into? Well, it might be another girl or something where someone cut in on a dance on him when he didn't want it done, and and things like that. A little town there, buy a soda pop and ice cream and things. Uh, I guess we were more <laughs> we were more adventurous than the girls. We take long walks into the forest, and uh, we crossed the stream there. On the other side, I was we were really surprised there was somebody farming there. They cleared a tree and they were farming there. It's just like in the movies. Wearing uh, this girl's wearing gunny sack dress, <laughs> and they must have rode horses to get out of there. Couldn't get any car in and out of there. So these are some of the things that we saw. <clears throat> I got on the bus and uh, <coughs> started to walk to the back, and the bus driver says, "No, you got to sit up here." It's only for blacks back there, they told me. Were you old enough to kind of think about how strange all this was? All this no, time? I didn't understand it. I really didn't. <clears throat> and looking back? Well, <laughs> I should have sat in the back. <laughs> <laughs> So if you were going to talk to a, a young audience today, I mean, why is it important to remember this experience? <laughs> well, it shouldn't happen again.